Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another event review. The Model Expo 2019 show, the Australian Open Plastic Scale Model Championships, as well as the Retail Floor and Swap and Sell. The event was hosted as usual for the past few years at the Sandown Racecourse Centre in Melbourne, Australia and occurred during the Queen's long weekend birthday on the 8th to 10th of June. I was in attendance for the three days uh, competing in a couple of categories as well as trading as a business. If you're interested in my activities during the event I have a video titled my 2019 Model Expo Diary. It's just pretty much running the shop and all of that sort of thing. Model Expo is the premium and biggest model show in Australia to date and is open to many categories. Traditionally started and run by the IPMS as well as other allied clubs, volunteers and organisers. The show looks into a variety of uh, military, civil, science fiction and mixed subjects as well as embracing Gundam, Warhammer and recently 3D printed models. In the middle of the main hall are a bunch of uh, tables formed into islands with a blue tablecloth upon them, broken into many categories that is the competition, divided in three age groups of juniors, intermediates and seniors over 18, Subjects of uh, your military planes, tanks, vehicles, figures, historical, non-historical science fiction and further breaking down into the sizes or the periods of the models as well as if they're out of the box. A more of a beginner friendly category to allow people to just build a model with what they're equipped with and uh, finish it as per the instructions or enhanced open modified where you're adding aftermarket bits scratch building improving upon the model and putting more higher level of work into it the championship which covers all of australia takes into account all the models that won in each category and pit them against each other for the australian champion so the first place goes for the one who also wins in that category the judging is conducted by volunteers guided by a framework of a guidebook breaking the categories and what they're looking at in multiple sub categories by deducting points of the build the paint and the reference or the real world the model may belong to kind of a judgment of how realistic does it look like or does it look more like a toy or a model and judges are normally paired to make sure friends or fairness is taken into account and it's not being uh, rushed more or less or fallen into the preference of a particular judge you're generally supervised for a few years before you become more senior and you're accompanied by another junior judge the more experienced ones go for the larger memorial subject or overall picking the champion model. Among the whole hall as well in between the categories are the club displays. Various clubs are able to sponsor a category at a small fee, get a couple of tables and provide their own theme display tablecloths and put a bunch of models that abides by the theme of the club or whatever theme that the club has that year to combine all the models. Sometimes I'll do something like a Vietnam War theme only or the colour blue. Each club has a different ideal as well as the clubs that run the event. It's not unusual for a group to come over from interstate to also display and interact for the weekend also an ideal to see these clubs and interact with the members pick their brains or also apply for membership the Natawadding Wargaming Association also conducted a game in the middle of between two islands as well as an RC club conducting outside by controlling and driving around a bunch of tanks 
Expo also takes quite a bit of interest from the lobbies and participants of the industry such as manufacturers and wholesalers that may display some wares or look upon out of personal interest and interact such as uh, God Hand Nippers had a bunch of uh, tools on the other side of the hall all the way down to wholesalers and businesses trading and showing off their wares if they're a larger general hobby shop with the whole range and doing special sales and self-promoting to smaller interest businesses showcasing their particular isolated products to a certain genre style of tool or service there were a few with the hall being completely uh, full showcasing some services such as buying dvds to learn tutorials and modeling techniques as well as a historical guide in finding out the origins of any relative you may have had that served in the military to doing historical walks of uh, battlefields and sites around the world with their researched aid at the same time with the retail experience which rings around the whole event on the outer tables you can buy a lot of rare unusual things or items that may only be available at the event so quite often traders will travel either overseas or interstate to do business make a bit of a profit as well as show off their wares or their online services each of the traders the clubs and interest groups when they pay their fee to participate are also sponsors in the event where their name is displayed on a category trophy as well as a category other activities included the swap and sell on the monday only being a three-day event in a completely separate room individuals are able to book one or a few tables to sell off an excess amount of models that they may collect or a few individuals booking a table to a club or smaller secondhand uh, sellers which uh, where my salt mines business originally came from this uh, trading floor room this is an opportunity to buy kits under retail or stuff that is particularly old another activity you can also participate at the event is the staging or the panel area we've got a small table a camera and a large projection screen where people are able to demonstrate or talk about techniques build a model do a bit of airbrushing and showcase and teach an audience how to build models or about aspects of the modeling industry to participate in this event as a competitor you're required to rock up at the venue either on the friday night during setup or saturday all the way till midday where you bring your model along and you pay a fee to attend for the whole weekend for every model you enter has a certain fee attached to it you present your model reference material and instructions to a scrutineer where they have a look and decide which category your model may be placed in unless you don't already know yourself if the model is not quite a good fit and the judges are having a look they may relocate your model or if there's not enough models in a category they can close it and migrate it to another suitable category then you bring it onto a table where you pay your fees and they print out a tag for your reference to go into a small box in a bag and a note dictating what your model is, its assigned number and category. You're able to set up your model, drop your reference material in a bag in a box that's placed under the table and finally at the end of the weekend on the Monday evening you're able to collect your model also happening on the monday in the afternoon is the award ceremony after the judging that takes place overnight at the start they award what models win which uh, categories in placing them they do a presentation with a projector showing off the models people were able to clap come accept it and all that sort of thing as usual it's a pretty prestige event it was a very exciting it uh, draws large numbers and had quite an astounding 800 odd models in the competition section of the event as well as hundreds of more in the club allocations a good 
several to probably 20 clubs from my guess. The final aspect of the show was for the kids, the make and take corner. Free models, mostly snap Gundam kits were provided to be uh, built for those being introduced to the hobby and to take away home. Overall, my experience at the show was a lot of fun. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Very happy with the quality of the judging and what models are uh, placed. Had a good experience entering and displaying my models as well as collecting at the end. The models were very safe and getting to see all the different characters and uh, the traders around the area. Also interacting with the show as a trader and other areas was very pleasant from the committee and staff. Thank you very much for watching as always until next time stay tuned for more content. I always encourage those to enter their local competitions but if you do want to come and experience um, how big Model Expo is it is very worthwhile travelling if you're not too far away even if it is interstate. If you wish to have a look at the uh, photos used in this uh, video it is in the link down below in the Pinterest gallery. Catch you guys next time.